Today on You Got a Package is the British Camel Pioneer from Thunder Model, the uh, semi the truck, and then the trailer, 30 ton trailer. Um, you can buy those separately as you can see. I don't see the point of doing that because uh, the semi comes with the trailer uh, or at least is destined to have one. Um, it's, um, I think I bought them for. Uh, 25 for the trailer I think and uh, maybe 40 for the semi on at LockyModel.com uh, not too expensive for a quality like that so let's dig right into it alright the uh, scammel here let's open the box ooh nice instructions yeah, nothing to say here. It seems like a yeah, that's computer based. It's nice, and it seems very detailed. It seems very easy to build one. Oh, and the uh, decor. Oh, that's nice. So the painting guide. Oh, you have two version available. Two versions available. One in North Africa, right here with the uh, big. Uh, British emblem and then here uh, I'm not sure which version this is if any ha anybody has any idea of this one because I would say I would venture uh, Northwest Europe mm -hmm. but it could be the uh, mm -hmm. Italian campaign or something what do we have here again North Africa oh very nice with uh, this is typical North African campaign 1942 and again, this is, I'm pretty sure this is Northwestern Europe. Uh, anybody has any idea of when this could be? Because I'm interested. Leave a comment in this section, in the comment section. Alright, some the chassis part. <coughs> Suspensions, the chassis itself. Uh, it's probably the, uh, for the trailer, where the trailer goes in the middle. Yeah. And the wheels, ugh. Yeah. I tried to glue one. See, it's missing. Yeah. This is not gonna fly. This is not good. So. Here it is. You can see the separation. It's not nice at all. So let's just wait that the aftermarket market takes up this challenge and makes us a very nice uh, resin. I'm not going to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Probably Def Model. Again, I'm not paid by them, but I always look for their sets. Because they're better than anything they can you can have in the plastic industry. Alright, the uh, touch of the plastic is a little soft. I don't know that I like that. Um, I prefer sturdier ones. and This one, I'm, I'm, I always fear with that tender plastic that it would melt with the glue. You know, because the glue is supposed to melt your plastic, but not entirely. So this is the engine part. The uh, here's the engine, six cylinder, uh, tank, uh, fumes evacuation, and uh, cockpit here. Yep. This is the roof and the inside, the uh, cabin. Ooh. So they wanted to make the uh, wood impression here. It's not working for me. I mean, it's a good, uh, it's a good try, but I'm not too convinced with it. So, well, if you can see it, it's grained in it. I mean, it's coming up instead of going down. It's yeah, I don't, I'm not too too crazy about it. Ooh, and this will need to be sanded. This is supposed to be a tarp to cover the truck, and this is not good. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'll have to green stuff it, I guess. No big deal, though. 
All right, we move to the, uh, what is that? So we got brakes here, probably the brakes, uh, some parts of the suspension, I'm guessing. I don't know what this is, but it's old. So you got two sprues like this. And again, the engine here, probably. Back of the engine. And these are the, uh, well, the shift, stick shift. Again, inside and engine, all mixed together. This is the six cylinder here. I'm guessing an air filter. And then the exhaust pipe, or part of it. Yep. And still that plastic, I'm not too convinced. Oh, mud guards for the wheels here, for the front wheels. So I'm guessing this turns with the wheel. I'm not sure. Does anybody know if this turns with the wheel or does it just stays over it without moving when in turns? Uh, let, let me know in the comment section. Here's the radiator, I'm guessing. And that's probably the engine again. Alright, PE. What do we have in the PE? Yeah, I don't know. Lots of stuff. Radiator fan right here. Yeah, it goes on. And a cable, of course. A cable to pull up the tanks on the trailer. So this is a desert version, and that's probably Northwestern. Again, if you, you, you guys have any idea of which company or which division uh, this is, let me know. Uh, the Rhino here too, I'm very curious. If you have any idea, leave it in the comment section. This is really inspiring. The artwork is inspiring because it gives you an idea of what you can do. Um, this is why it's sold separately. You can actually have just a diorama with the trailer itself with a, something on it and left on the side to have it pick up, picked up by another truck or anything, you know, just waiting there. Uh, that makes sense now to me. Um, it's very nice. It's very inspiring. Love it. So, this is actually the same sprue as the one in the truck section and the semi section and the brakes here. Again, the feel to the uh, to this plastic. I, I'm not really not too keen. On, uh, I mean, it's not very nice. I, I'm not crazy about it. So this is the painting guide for the uh, trailer. It matches, of course, the one they have for the truck. So this one is 1942 in German, um, North Africa. This one is, uh, I'm guessing, Northwestern Europe. But if you have any idea, leave it in the comment section. This one is really nice. I thought this was also in Sicily. This uh, camo. Uh, again, does anybody know? Because I'm, I would love to know if this was in Africa and Sicily, because that would make sense. I mean, they just crossed the Mediterranean for that. So, and here's the northwestern. Oh, Dunkirk. There we go. 1944. So there we go. I'm probably gonna go with this kind of camo uh, rather than this one. Um, that's my taste. All right, so the trailer, one piece right here. That's the upper piece, I'm guessing, yeah. So, the tank goes on this. Well, you know what, let's try to see the size of it. Let's get a Sherman, get it on it. Where is it? not a Sherman, it's an M10. Same difference. Yeah, it fits. Fits perfectly on the trailer itself. Well, it's not too big. I mean, the Dragon Wagon is a lot bigger than this. So, yep. That's for Sherman's, or smaller. Alright, so, this is probably for boxes, or 
yeah, box that goes underneath here, I'm guessing. Planks of wood. I'm not sure where they go. Yeah, we'll see. And the access points to the trailer here. So the uh, tanks can go roll on it. And this is the chassis to the trailer. It's pretty long. Pretty impressive. It's very thin. The uh, I'm gonna say this. This is very thin. This is like PE thin plastic. So this is great actually because the detail. I'm not too keen about the uh, texture and the touch to the plastic, but the thickness and the uh, precision and detail uh, is really nice and it's really crisp too. It, there's a, barely ejection points and pins. So and the tires. I'm not even gonna bother. I mean like. Uh, who cares? Alright, so this is OPE details. So I'm really not going to argue where this goes. Well, yeah, maybe this is the chains. I'm guessing it's to keep the, the uh, access points to the trailer up. That, that's as far as I'm going to go, guess. So, instruction pretty pretty short, very thin. And yeah, good. Seems like there's a good explanation and very clear way of uh, building this thing. And it's a really nice one. All right, well that wraps it up for this episode of uh, You Got a Package. This was for the Scammel Pioneer truck and trailer. Very nice kits, as we saw. Um, you can find them everywhere online or maybe at your local uh, distributor so I will see you next time for another episode of you got a package <laughs>